Wilk and the Beanstalk. Wilk! Why did you set the thermostat so high? <gasps> this is a barber shop, not a sauna! I'm sorry, Master Bread. I didn't want the ingredients to get chilly. What? Because of your foolishness, our whole inventory has gone bad. <sighs> Go get more ingredients. Okay. <sighs> hmm. What ingredients should I buy? Uh, young man. Huh? Yeah? Beans, perhaps? Uh, beans? I haven't sold a single one today. Won't you help me by buying some? Hmm. I don't know. I have to buy ingredients. But poor Mrs. Roll looks so sad. Ah! No! I can't make Mr. Bread angry again. Forgive me, Mrs. Roll, but I... Ah! My poor grandchildren are starving at home. <gasps> Your grandchildren are starving? And then there are the medical bills for my dying son. Really? <laughs> Mrs. Roll, I'll take a hundred dollars worth, please. A hundred? Wow, thanks. Here you go. Huh? That's a hundred dollars worth? Of course oh. it is. These beans aren't ordinary, young man. These are magic beans, and they can grant wishes. They're magical? Plant them, and good things will grow. Oh. But you mustn't tell a soul about the gifts the beans will bring. Magic? Help the poor woman. Mm. Buy my beans. What's this? Magic beans? You spent a hundred dollars on three magic beans? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. It's just I felt so sorry for Mrs. Roll is all. Uh, you feel sorry, and I'm out a hundred bucks. Give me those beans. Uh, please, no, sir. You want magic? What's a better? No, my beans. Uh, Choco, go get ingredients pronto. Yep. Wilk, clean up, you hear? Yes, sir, Master Bread. Uh, I'm gonna be late for work! Uh, huh? Uh, what is this thing? Morning, oh. Master Bread. Hi, Choco. Mm -hmm. Where did this tree come from? Search me. It must have grown during the night. We're gonna lose customers. This thing is growing right in front of the shop. <gasps> I hadn't thought of that. Wilk, huh? go grab an axe and get chopping! Sir! Huh. I can't figure Ooh, it out. It's weird. Oh. Grew out of nowhere? Wow, this thing is tall. Oh, there are three different vines. Hey, wait. The beans Master Bread threw out grew into a beanstalk. Huh? What's that strange sound? I wonder what's up there. Hmm. I think I'll climb it and find out. <clears throat> one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. <clears throat> Uh, oh, I made it. What is this place? Huh? Whoa! There's gourmet food everywhere. Is that? Wow! Truffles! And it's the rare white kind. <sighs> Think I'll pick one. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, if you pick one truffle, another one grows right away! Huh? Oh, a chocolate hen? Wow, a chocolate hen that lays caviar! And it's all for me. Huh? Whoa, a harp that makes saffron! Aha, uh -huh. the sound I heard must have come from the harp. Huh? Ah. Smells so good. Truffles, caviar, and saffron. It's a paradise of gourmet ingredients! <laughs> I can't wait to tell Master Brett about this. Boy, is he gonna be happy. <laughs> Master Brett! Huh? Well, huh? I've been waiting for you all day. Just take a look at this, sir. Truffles, caviar, and saffron. Oh, but these <laughs> ingredients are all gourmet. <laughs> Where did you get these beautiful treasures? I climbed up the beanstalk. Oh, Mrs. Roll said to keep it a secret. Uh, they were on sale at this cool new gourmet market I found. <laughs> Wilk, my boy, you did well today. Bring some more tomorrow. <sighs> Sir. One, two, one, two. <sighs> a block of premium Swiss cheese, Belgian chocolate, organic green grapes, fresh peaches, and even mangoes. Luxuries everywhere. Master Fred's gonna be so excited. <laughs> <laughs>
you, sir. Oh, exciting. Wilk, where did you find these goods? Well, I... Uh, wait, I'll bring you some more. <laughs> hmm. This is all very suspicious. Perhaps I'll follow him this time. One, two, one, two. <sighs> hmm. I wonder if they have something truly unusual up here. Let's have a look-see. Hmm. Whoa! What's this? A lion's mane mushroom? Wow, it's so soft! Ah! Huh? Who knew there was a cat up here? I should leave. <laughs> one, two, one, two. What if that big cat climbs down the beanstalk after me? <gasps> Chucko and Master Bread would be in great danger! I've got to chop this thing down and fast! <laughs> Wilk, you rascal. You climbed this beanstalk to get those ingredients, eh? Well, it's all going to be mine now. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, uh, I made it. <laughs> Organic grapes and mangoes, even fresh peaches. Oh, this must be heaven. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. oh. A pot of endless white truffles? <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I should just take the whole pot back to the shop! <gasps> oh, harp strings made of saffron! I must take this with me! <gasps> A chocolate hen that lays caviar! <laughs> Come with me, my little chocolate chickadee! <laughs> I've got you now! <laughs> My sciatica! I fell because of this thing! Uh, uh. Ah, it's a cat! Ah, save me, somebody! Ah, ah. <laughs> Wilk, no! Please stop! Uh, goodbye, Beanstalk! Wilk, no! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, Wilk chopped down the whole Beanstalk. How will I ever get down? <laughs> Phew! That big bad cat will never get down here. Now Master Bread and Choco will be safe and sound. <laughs> One month later. Master Bread's been missing for a whole month. Where could he have disappeared to? Got me. Wilk, I think it's time for us to find a new job. Uh, Master Bread, oh, I miss you so. Why did you have to leave us all alone? Uh, look, it's the big fat cat. Wilk, do you see what I see? It's Master Bread. Wilk, Chaku, did you miss me? Ha! Master, Master Bread. Bread! Where have you been, sir? And where did you get the cat? It took me a while to train this little rascal here. May I present my sidekick, Cheetah? Master Bread, uh, so when are you coming back to the uh, barber shop? After all, you've been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. I am no longer Master Bread the barber. Huh? From now on, I'm Bread of the Jungle! <laughs> <laughs> Good boy! Let's go, Cheetah! The gold, the smart, and the strong. <laughs> wow! This lake is enormous! It's very cool! <laughs> Should we set up the tent? Yep! <laughs> 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 Oh, that was great. Master Bread, your barbecues really are the best in the world. <laughs> I 
think I'm gonna go play ball with sausage. Hi. <laughs> I think I'll take myself a nap. Hmm? Oh, what was that? Uh, Will, uh, what happened? Uh, Master Fred, help! Sausage fell right into Lake mm -hmm. Sink. What? Are you kidding me? Sausage, Whoa. come back! We need help. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Tell me who dares awaken me from my slumber. Huh, a twisted bread came out of the lake. Who are you, sir, if I may ask? Who am I? I am the great bread god, the guardian of Lake Sink. Why do you weep, friend? My dear pet sausage fell into the lake, sir. <laughs> He's a chubby little sausage with big round eyes. Have you seen him down there? A chubby little sausage? Wait right here for a moment. Master Bread, hope that bread god there finds sausage and brings him back safe. Of course, don't you worry. Whoa. Is this gold sausage perhaps your sausage? Uh, he's gold from head to toe, right? No, he's not. Our sausage is an ordinary sausage, sir. Yes, but this sausage is made out of pure gold and is worth a hundred thousand dollars. What? Really? Oh, sure he's ours. This gold sausage is definitely ours, sausage. Mr. Fred, <laughs> you know that this one's not ours. Sausage fell into the lake. Why aren't you worried? Oh, uh, don't you worry, guys. We have an underwater palace here, so your sausage will be having tons of fun down there. Told ya. Sausage will be A-OK. -okay. The more golden, the better, I say. Let's take him with us. Uh, <laughs> you have chosen wisely. You look quite luxurious, <laughs> don't you? Sausage. What? Sausage fell into Lake Sink? Master Bread brought back a golden sausage instead of ours! Huh? Master Bread, you're so mean, you know. Me? How could you leave our sausage behind for this one? Well, the thing is, you don't know how much this golden sausage is valued at. Choo choo choo! I should really give gold sausage some food. Have at it! Uh, ooh, is it that bad? Uh, hey, it's great, in fact. Uh, uh, gold sausage, where are you going? Huh? Oh, that there is top quality beefsteak. You little cutie, is this what you wanted? Take it. You're quite the picky eater, aren't you? You seem to have the taste buds of royalty. <laughs> Huh? What did that premium steak do to him? It looks like he wants to poo. Master Brad, can't you see he's whining because he wants to poo? Right. Uh, here, Gold Sausage, won't you come over here and poo? Maybe he doesn't want to poo on the newspaper. How about a potty pad? <sighs> or how about a cushion? Uh, gold Sausage, stop running! <laughs> Uh, Choco, what exactly uh, is that pot? Oh, that's just Master Bread's 500-year-old uh, priceless pot. How dare he dishonor the history of my shop! <sighs> Master Bread, how much longer do we have to do this? Right on. We can't even do our own work. Uh, all right, you two, that's it. Gold, silver, whatever in the world he is, I'm gonna go broke just taking care of him! Hey, Wilk! Let's go get our sausage. Sir! <laughs> hey, Bread God! Come out right now! Who on earth is making all that racket this time? Please give back our sausage, sir. Sausage? Didn't you take one last time you were here? But this little guy is simply not our sausage. We cannot live without our sausage anymore. We miss our sweet <clears throat> sausage so much. <clears throat> oh, very well, you guys. Wait right here for a moment. Oh! Now, this sausage here is called Smarty Sausage. Stop. And... Let me do my own introduction. <sighs> Hello there. With an IQ of 300, 52 credentials, and a member of Bredsa, I'm Smarty Sausage, the smartest sausage in the world. Take me with you so your dummy assistant here can end up learning a lot from me. Hey, Mr. Bread God. Our sausage uh, isn't as smart as... Of course he is. He sure is our sausage. But Master uh, Bread... What do you know? With an intelligent sausage like him, it means that our investments, finances, even our marketing can all be left up to him. Our barber shop will become a money-making machine. Oh, he's surely our sausage. Uh, <laughs> Go on, take him with uh, you. Uh, <laughs> 
let's hurry on back now. <laughs> know oh. where barber shops come from? Well, back in ancient Greece times, a barber also served as a surgeon. Ah. Uh. Now, tell me who this is. Okay, so this sausage is... Let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Smarty Sausage. I guess you're Choco, right? I knew that because Master Bread and Wilk mentioned you three times while talking. Uh, hold on, a sausage that can talk? Mm -hmm. Don't be alarmed. I'm so intelligent that even the bread language is a piece of cake. And that's not all. English, French, Spanish, and also Chinese are some of the 56 languages I know. Master Bread, can you speak another language? Um, maybe. So on that note, let me show you my skills. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. What a sizable talent we've got at our barber shop. We should celebrate, no? Want to know where parties come from? Gosh, he really is annoying. Social and I agree. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hey there, stop. Huh? Try the 337 mopping method. Mop, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. Mop, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. You have got to mop to this beat to ensure a squeaky clean floor. Oh, really? Sorry. So I see you've been cutting some corners while you clean. Why on earth does bread even pay you? Mm. Taco! Oh my goodness. You do know that you're doing your calculations wrong? What? You see, you omitted a decimal point here, and then you added an extra zero here. The fact that you made two mistakes on the very uh. same page proves to me that you're a worthless employee. What'd you say? <laughs> Business is finally going hmm. smoothly. So, Wilk, Choco, you better learn what you can from Smarty Sausage. Yes, you hear that, everyone? Mm. Stick close to me and you won't ever have to worry about <laughs> failure. <sighs> Well then, time for me to get back to work. Loo, loo, loo. <laughs> loo. Master Bread, uh, putting grapes on top of lemon cream is quite weird. You think so? Well, yellow and purple are complementary colors, so putting them together is a no-no. If you continue on like this, the customer will leave your shop looking like a complete dodo. So I look like a dodo? No, oh, no, he's just kidding. What's wrong with you, huh? You learn about complementary colors in elementary school, Bren. Uh, Don't tell me you didn't even go to uh, elementary school. What? How dare you say that to me? Uh, huh? Wilk, he's coming with us. Sir, uh, hey, my glasses. Hey, Bread God! Not you again. <laughs> this Brainiac sausage is definitely not ours. Uh -huh. Want to know where sausages come from? Red God? Please give back our dear sweet sausage. Ugh, oh, wait here as usual. Mm. Master mm. Bread, and I mean for real this time, yeah. let's bring back our actual sausage. Uh, fine, let's do that. I'm done with these mm. other ones. Hm. <laughs> Mr. Bread God, uh. that sausage is definitely not our sausage. Why do you keep bringing back only the other ones? The sausage you see here is a bodybuilding champion. He's a level 20 combined martial arts master. He was also a former bodyguard for Cake Queen. Yeah, that guy is our sausage. Master Bread, uh, what are you doing? You just keep your mouth shut. If he becomes my bodyguard, from now on, no one will dare attack me. <laughs> Away we go, muscular oh. sausage! Oh. Oh. Oh, sausage. <laughs> and who is this now? His name is Muscular Sausage. He's quite strong and good at martial arts, so from now on he can protect our shop. Uh, uh, wait, are you... Uh, uh, Master Bread, are you all right, sir? What's up? What is going muscular on? Muscular Sausage is trying to make us muscular, too. Uh, 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 someone help. I can't feel my legs anymore. I don't want to anymore. I can't take it. Uh, my word, I really think I'm dying. This is way too much. Master Bread, he's snoring. Muscular Sausage is asleep. Now's our chance. Let's bring him back right now. And lift. Still, though, our hard work has paid off. That's true. I can carry a sofa now. Hey, Bread God, come out now. Oh, what brings you both here at such an early hour? Look, Bread God, please take this crazy sausage back and give us a friendly sausage. Bring our sausage back to us this time or else we'll put you to sleep, mm. sir. Oh, wait here for a moment. 
I think he's finally gonna return our sausage to us. Right, all those workouts have paid off. Here you go. Oh, now that's our sausage. <laughs> I missed you, buddy. <laughs> hey, Bread God, thank you so much. Last time you'll see us. <laughs> Wait a um. sec. I've never seen such honest baked goods like you two before. For that, I'll give you gold sausage, smarty sausage, and muscular sausage as a reward. What? What did you say? No. Uh, oh, stop Let's following go. us! Wanna know where running comes from? No. no. Bread's birthday. Choco, is tomorrow a big day? Ah, uh, no. Just Master Bread's birthday thing. What? I don't... His birthday? Yeah, he circles his own birthday on the calendar every year. <gasps> huh? Why didn't you tell me? This is super important! Ugh, and why is that? Think about it. Master Bread has no family, no friends, because he always works. So he's going to be all alone by himself on Sunday. What kind of birthday is that? Huh? We need uh, to go celebrate with him. Uh, you mean, like, go to his house? Hmm. I'll give him the best birthday of all time! All right, here we go. Operation Best Birthday Ever! Uh, <laughs> Candle, check. Match, check. Man, he's going to be so surprised. <laughs> Chocolate cream pies I got for my birthday. So good. It's fine. Master Bread would like them more. But what should I give him as a gift? Ew. My favorite Red Donut Ranger action figure I waited in line for. It's limited edition. It's been fun, Red. Master Bread will give you a good home. All right, ready to go. This is going to be the best birthday ever. House number 221. 221. We should be getting close. Ah, right there! Huh? He, he lives in here? Hmm. Uh, his house! I can't believe he lives in a shack like this! It's because he spends all the shop's money on our salaries! Oh. <laughs> we are not worthy of you! <laughs> well, it's not that. Hey, keep huh? it down out there, uh, you punks! I'm trying to get some sleep! Um, excuse me, does Master Bread live here? Who's that? The barber? Do I look like I know? Leave me alone. Sheesh. I don't understand. Wilk, this shack huh? doesn't have a number. We're looking for 221, which is... <gasps> that one. The giant one? Yep, don't <gasps> worry about him not being well off. He's doing pretty good. Uh, that's good then. I'm glad. But still, what's the point of having a big place if no one comes over like friends or family? The poor man must be so uh... lonely on his birthday. It makes me so sad. Well, don't worry. Wilk's on his way to be your friend. I hope we're not too late this year. I heard that last year, 5 p.m. was the cutoff. I'm so excited to give him this present. What's going on? These are all the customers uh, whose lives have been made better by Master Bread's work. Look at him. Looks uh, like he spent the night here. Uh, he spent the night on the street just to give his present to Master Bread? Wilk, we should join the line. Uh, Otherwise, we won't get in. Maybe it'll be a shorter line than last year's. What'd you get in this year? It looks nice. Well, it's better than last year's. <gasps> Choco, mm? did you get him anything? Nah, with everything he gets, he'd never notice. Okay. <sighs> now that you've given your gift, can we leave? Huh? What? No way! What's the point of getting all these nice presents unless you blow out birthday candles on a cake? <sighs> I brought an extra tasty one. Ta-da! Mm. Mm. Ah! Huh? Huh? Ah! 
Her Majesty the Queen of Bakery Town sends her special buffet over. The Queen never forgets Master Bread's birthday mm -hmm. since he does her hair. Oh. What a lucky man to receive the royal birthday banquet. I hope he likes it. I hear he's a picky eater. Wilk, you've done well. Let's go. No way! Huh? I have to stay. What if he's feeling lonely? We should go spend time together. I'm coming, Master Brad! Yes, solo slice is the way to be. <laughs> Wilk, Master Bread is great at being alone. He holds the bakery world record for a high score in solitaire. So stop worrying about his birthday, you know? You're right. Huh? I get it. Master Bread doesn't need me to give him a present or a cake. Huh? You two? What's up? Uh, it's just... Wilk wanted to make sure your birthday was a special one. Ah, uh, so kind of you. But it really isn't necessary. But nice of you to try. Be sure to grab some food on your way out. See? You don't have to worry about him next time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm hungry. Let's see what the queen has sent me this time. Lobster, chicken, eh, nothing that fun. Hmm. Ah, ooh, the chocolate cream pie I used to eat as a kid. Hmm. Now that's what I call food. Let's see what presents I got this year. Hmm. I don't even wear a watch. It's the same one I have. Not my style. Already have it. It's all just stuff. This box looks like it's had better days. What? It couldn't be. The limited edition Red Donut Ranger? Super rare and hard to find. Money couldn't buy anything like this. Who would give me something so nice? This is the best birthday ever! <laughs> Intern Secret When sweeping the floor, one should hold the broom at approximately 45 degrees for maximum efficiency. <sighs> I'm learning so much! Who'd have thought? Master Bread's the best! If I work hard, I can be just like him someday. <laughs> Are you okay? Don't move, I'll help you. Morning, I'm ready to work. Hmm. So, tell me why you want to be an intern. Well, someday I want to be a great barber like you. Hmm. Hmm. That's nice, but I'm afraid we're not hiring anyone in the shop right now. Uh, all right. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> well, help her out, would you? You got it! Princess! He hey, hurts princess. you! <laughs> She's a princess? Ooh! That's right, we're booked for the next decade. <sighs> There's no space for all this cash. Uh. <laughs> Wait. I've made a huge mistake here. You possess a talent I can't miss. Huh? 
seems to me your legs look strong. That's perfect for working in a barber shop. Oh, you think so? Strength <gasps> is vital. When you're standing on your feet forever, you must be strong. So I could be a natural? Yep. Then <gasps> you start tomorrow morning. Uh, uh. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. This is bad. I've never once been late. <laughs> right on time, too. What a responsible worker. <laughs> Wilk, Miss Cake, I'm going out to buy things. Make sure to clean those mirrors good. I want to see them shine. Yep, you bet. No worries, Mr. Bread. I'm gonna make these things sparkle like he said to. Hmm? Oh. <sighs> Miss Cake, you should clean the mirrors like he said or he'll get mad at you. Oh, yeah, that. What are we supposed to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, now that's what I call shine. Yes! You truly have an eye for this. <laughs> hey, Will! I'll throw that away for you. Uh, um, are you sure? Uh, of course. I think I'm getting better at this whole working thing, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Who was it? <gasps> Who's responsible <gasps> for this? <laughs> <laughs> my, my car! <laughs> it looked so old, so I thought it was garbage too. <gasps> Princess, as you asked. I thought about how hard it must be driving around in that old rusty lemon of a car. That's why I brought all mine for you. I just thought you could pick one of mine to use. Ah, you'll make a great barber someday. You fixed your mistake. That's a great virtue to have. Ah, mm, mm. Well done. Ah. Congratulations on finishing your salon apprenticeship. You did great. Here's your certificate. Mm. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Good job. Our princess finally did it. <laughs> you always had it inside you, miss. Yeah, so I'm not actually going to work here anymore. Uh, what do you mean? My dad said if I got certified, he'd give me my own salon to use and stuff on my own. But thanks for the training and all. Mm. Oh, hold still, miss. Oh. oh my! I hope it's not too busy. What fun! Uh. Huh? Barbershop, huh? huh? So the princess huh? learned from him? For him to teach her, he must be even better than she is. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the huh? source. He's the original anyway. Come on, let's go find him. Chippy customer. Wow, I thought this place would be fancier, but whew, turns out it's kind of a dub. Welcome to our shop. How can we help you today? How long do I gotta wait for a haircut? The wait is about an hour right now. An hour? Huh? I don't have that long to wait! We have been here a while. I've been here for like two hours. 
I apologize, everyone. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time to get the best haircut for you. Don't give me those half-baked excuses! This place should be ashamed of itself! And here's your receipt. Huh? huh? 30 bucks for fresh whipped cream? 50 just for fruit topping? This place reeks of a scam! Oh, that does seem steep. I have to choose between a haircut or my phone bill. Well, we only use high-quality ingredients, and those can be pricier. High-quality? Oh, crust! How are we supposed to know that's real? I've never seen a shop that costs this much with this long a wait. If I were you, I'd go someplace that valued my time and money, not this dump. I mean, some of what he said's not wrong. But I thought this place was supposed to be the best. Should we try to find a new barber shop? Morning. Master Brad, come look. Something's gone wrong. What do you mean? Huh? What's this? Hello, everyone. This is Bakery X-Files. I'm Croissant. Bread Barbershop has long been known as the best salon in town. Uh, Morning, Taco. Uh, Morning, Master Bread. Uh, huh? But our exclusive look reveals high-rising prices and crummy service. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time to get the best haircut for you. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Uh, uh, I don't remember saying that. They charge far more than the average salon, ripping off unsuspecting customers. We only use high quality ingredients. Or not, that's just what we tell customers so they give us all their cash. <laughs> mm, that's fake! This is slander! Someone's just trying to bring us down! Hey Will, huh? where'd you get that? Oh, this? Huh? The new hair salon across the street is giving away snacks! Huh? It's... It's that nasty chip who came in here yesterday. He's the one behind all this, I'm sure. The nerve! Tired huh? of expensive haircuts? Don't want to wait too long for that new do? Come on down to Potato Chip Hair Shop. We're the fastest and cheapest shop this side of the bakery aisle. Every haircut, just a buck. In and out in 10 minutes. Of all the nonsense, I'll go check this out. Master Bread, I'm coming too. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. 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 We use the latest technology to ensure every customer gets their new look in 10 minutes. Can you oh. prove it? How's mm. it work? Aha! Ha! Ha! <laughs> 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 Oh, that is Plus, nice. it looks great. I'm going to come here from now on. Oh, I'm done for, done for. <laughs> Master Bread, don't feel down. There must be something we can do. <laughs> Morning. Huh? What's with the swatter? Oh. Well, if we get flies, I figured I'd swat them as something to do. Seriously? <laughs> Choco, you're so smart. Wait a sec. How come there aren't any flies in the shop today? Hey, that's huh? weird. All the flies are gathered around Potato Chip's shop. They're what? Whoa, even bugs like it. Hmm, something seems off. <laughs> Choco, are you sure this is okay? If you want to lose your job when the shop closes, be my guest. Something's odd about this place. Let's go see. Hmm. Oh, this place is really new and modern inside. Oh, that's a lot of whipped cream spray. Usually I have to make fresh whipped cream every morning, but this seems a lot more convenient. Mm. Well, watch out! What a great idea this is! Ah! Well, are you okay? Uh, help me! I think I broke my straw. Huh? This stuff expired ages ago. What? Are you serious? And it's not just cream. This fruit he's using is rotten and stale. With all this mess, it's no wonder the flies gather around this place. 
Ugh, what a shady thing to do! Huh? Hmm? Hey, it's the remote control for the machine that does the hair. It looks like this button turns it on. Wow, that thing goes real fast. If only we had a machine like this in our shop. No way, it can speed up even more? Well, stop that! the plunger we use for our toilet. Ah! Ah! Ear pick, tweezers. Please don't tell me he's using these dirty tools for hair. We should take picks as evidence. Hmm. I don't know how he can get away with this. We should tell everyone his shop is gross. <laughs> well, are you all right? Huh? It can't be. It's not a potato chip can, just a big trash can. He turned a trash can into a hair salon? That's the one found in bathrooms, right? What? That's even more grody. All the more for evidence. Oh my. Get your hands off me! Dirty bacon donuts! I was baked! You sugary dweebs! Once a rising star, now yesterday's rotten potato. A shocking story of filth and deceit as Potato Chip's hair shop shuts down due to unsanitary practices. I saw that coming. Everyone knows I'm the best. I wasn't worried at all. Wilk, Taco, I'm expecting lots of customers today, so be prepared for them. Yes, sir. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 la. 